Today, we're catching some sun and waves with Tammy, a QHS member whose life is as vibrant and refreshing as a seaside breeze. What currents brought her to the sunny shores of the quantum shift? Let's surf behind the scenes to see the wave she's been riding. Hello, my name is Tammy and I'm 64. Um, I've been a member of the Quantum Healing Systems since uh, 2023. I got my first QT wave in June of 2023 and then my second and the current one in May of this year, 2024, which is the QT um, wave uh, six. And I'm waiting for my QT wave nine to come soon. Uh, my life has been pretty rote up until a certain point about 10 years ago. I was single, gave birth to a child when I was um, 26 and he's now 37 and also um, in there I was a foster parent I adopted two of those children they came to me as not babies but barely toddlers one was you know a year and a half and one was 14 months and in both cases they've been horribly abused and neglected um, but I was superwoman I could do anything and of course, I had to support all of that with a full-time job. By then, my son, when I adopted the first one, he was 13 and he was 18 when the second one came along. So he hasn't been around for a while because then there was college and he eventually moved to the Bay Area and now he lives in Los Angeles. Through this time, I went up and down with my weight. I would do these liquid diets and things because I always had struggled with it. And basically, I um, had an eating disorder, and it, it was that simple. And I, I was, uh, I would overeat. That was my disorder, and I was addicted to sugar, and flour, and all of the things like bakery goods and that sort of thing. And I got diagnosed as having diabetes in uh, when I was uh, 35. And I didn't take it seriously. I'm like, oh, everybody's got that, you know? Well, it does progress. It did progress. And it has nearly killed me. It got to the point where I could no longer work. I couldn't focus. Everything was awful. Planned for about nine months, not quite a year, that I was going to retire. And in July 2017, I did. My boss told him what the plan was. He was on board. And then I um, retired on July 17th of 2020, 2017. That was on a Friday. The following Monday night, I got up to go to the restroom in the middle of the night, tripped over something. I had really bad neuropathy and couldn't feel my feet. And I fell headlong into a very hard, old fashioned dresser with, with uh, rigid corners. And I blew my arm out basically, although I was in denial for 10 days in terrible pain, but if I didn't move it, I would like be okay. Finally went to the doctor and they're like, yes, it's broken. And then they took more x-rays and I said, well, it's more than broken. It's completely blown out the backside. Well, I ended up having to have surgery and they put a rod in it's 12 or 14 screws to hold my arm in place and they had to reattach the strings, I, I don't know what they're called, but they give you the ability to raise your um, arms up and down. And the doctor told me without that, I would never be able to lift my hands up again, or at least on this side. So two months after that, I started feeling kind of not very good. And then I got, um, I, I thought I had the flu. By then my girls were nine and 13. And I got to a point where I couldn't even take them to school and I had a friend come and pick them up. And I really thought I just had a bad case of the flu. So that got worse and I got to the point where I literally for over a week, it was about 10 days, could not get out of the chair I was in. I could no longer climb the stairs. I couldn't do anything. I was completely bedridden, so to speak, in a chair um, in my living room. I had my daughter get my 
sister, I called her my sister at the time, she's my best friend, and tell her I needed her to come, that there was something really not going on well. She walked in, took one look at me, and she said, you're dying. And I said, I don't think I'm dying, but you know, um, she says, no, I've seen this, you're dying. And sure enough, I was. So she called an ambulance, took my kids to her house, and then met me at the hospital. And I was diagnosed as having sepsis and eventually with two virulent forms of bacteria that had shut my kidneys down, were in my brain, which was affecting my decision making, and then also uh, into my other organs. And as far as I know, the only organ it didn't do a lot of damage to was my heart. So I was very fortunate. So I was in the ICU for uh, two days. Then a third day in the hospital regular room uh, by myself. And then they sent me to a nursing home where I was for two and a half weeks because I couldn't walk. I had no muscle tone left in my legs. I mean, it was just, I'd never been so crippled and unable to care for myself. I got out of there, went home with a walker and then quickly went to a cane and got to the point where I could walk to the car, drive it, pick my kids up. And they had given me a drug called Wellbutrin and basically I took too much of it accidentally. Um, they had doubled my dose, but then they gave me a new prescription. So I still only needed one pill and I was taking two. One day somebody was putting up lights outside my house for Christmas and I couldn't stand. I was too dizzy, I'm like, get me a chair, or I'm gonna go down. And then I did proceed to fall, and fall, and fall, multiple times every day. I hurt myself, I was bruised, and finally, about a week into that, I figured out it has to be this medication, because I wasn't like this when I came home from the hospital. I stopped taking it cold, and it got a little bit better, but I actually suffered with this disabling uh, uh, problem for over a year and a half and to this day um, and this is a full almost seven years later I can't um, I still have to use a shower chair and I still have to um, be very careful or I will fall although I haven't fallen down close to two years anyway um, in April of 2023 I did a full body detox with a chiropractor taking all these pills to rid my body of toxins and metals and so forth forth and and for the first four months it was body and then the last two was brain well I had such terrible uh, brain fog that had gotten exponentially worse when I had COVID for um, three weeks, I was really sick with COVID, um, that I basically, um, could hardly drive or even stay awake long enough. You know, it was, I, I, it was, it was beyond your normal brain fog. Basically, um, this detox got me my brain back and I stopped with that detox back in October of 2023. And in October, in April of 2023 is when I got my first QT wave. Then um, I had been diagnosed after my kidneys shut down with the sepsis as having chronic kidney disease. In February of this year, 2024, I um, was, my test results came back that I was now in stage 4B of the um, chronic kidney disease and getting very close, um, about seven points away from being in stage five, which would then be dialysis. And I don't know why, but that really woke me up and I thought, okay, Tammy, it's time to change your life. And so I did. I basically ended up using a plant-based diet. I found this place online called Kidneyhood um, that sold a product called Albutrix. And I started taking that supplement for stage four uh, chronic kidney disease. And from mid-May when I, when I started it um, until now, my last test was last week. And 
I am back up into stage uh, 3A. That doesn't happen. You get worse. You might prevent it from getting from getting any worse, but you don't get better. You certainly don't cure your kidneys. Except for these people said you could, and I believed them. So I have, I, I'm pretty stoked about that. But in the process of all of this, in this new plant-based diet, I had to give up meat, and I love a steak. But it's like, okay, do you love your life? Yes. Well, then let's, you know, do that. So I basically have now uh, been um, losing weight and I'm 60 pounds down. I have another 60 to go, but I am doing it slowly and over six, well, five months really, I've, I've lost this 60 pounds. So my chronic kidney disease is in reversal and I'm very excited. My, re my, my response to all of this is yay and how exciting it. And I credit the change in my life, but also, um, you know, that my new program, I write everything down that I eat. I keep copious notes, lots of data. Thanks to my good friend, Jody, who's also a member of the quantum healing systems. Um, and I, um, my insulin is down to once a day at half the dose I was taking three times a day. So I believe I will eventually not even need insulin, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, meanwhile, somewhere in all of this about three or so years ago, I found the um, Love One Society. I had prayed, I had cried to God and I had said, why am I still alive? Why didn't I die? Because I kind of thought I was going to. And I'm still here and I don't know what to do with myself because I had always been the breadwinner. And, you know, I had gotten married. My husband now worked and I, I was still you know, disabled. And um, so I found this and I thought, okay, I could do humanitarian if I could get some money, you know, because I don't have money of my own. And, um, I knew I was home. I'm absolutely certain of it. Uh, and I've done all kinds of things to try to increase my heart and my love for people, which is just unbelievable. I wake up happy and healthy every day. I'm excited about the future and um, my family, my friends, they can all see it. And basically, um, I'm waiting for that QT wave nine because I think that it's going to make a big difference. And um, I'm just going to continue to keep going, um, learning more and more about myself and, and implementing the changes that come along that I think I need to do. And one thing I didn't mention was I did get a naturopath and I didn't believe my doctor when she said, you know, kidney disease can't be cured. Baloney, it can. And if anybody wants to know how, ask UHS for my phone number and I'll tell you. Anyway, thank you for your time and um, I can't wait to do a part two down the road. Join us on the prequel where every story matters and every voice is heard. Because here at QHS, we're all about healing, learning, and growing together.